No Shave November, Beard Style, How to Grow a Big and Full Beard. मैं बताऊ So what's up guys welcome to my channel the bearded chokra and if this is your first time visiting the channel i do a lot of beard related videos a lot of product reviews a lot of cosmetic reviews a lot of truths that are told on this channel so if you like such content make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos and talking about beard related videos today i have a topic a question that is asked by many many young people that how can i grow a big and full beard so today i'm going to go over some tips that will give you a bit of clarity in terms of what you should do what you shouldn't do when it comes to growing a beard as a part of a long term investment that you're putting into your body and your personality now the first thing that you hear every single person with a beard say is that you have to give up your razor your trimmer your scissor everything that's true but you also have to use it very very strategically at the right times now what i would recommend is that if you just started growing out your beard don't touch it for a good 3 to 4 weeks at least by saying do not touch it i mean do not touch the entire area not the cheek line not the neck line so 3 to 4 weeks is a good amount of time for your facial hair to actually grow out and give you a perspective of what your facial hair looks like and where all you have patchiness where all you have bald spots now for the cheek lines and the neck lines trimming and shaping of the beard you can go watch my how to trim your beard video i'll link it up here also when you're just starting out i would recommend that be a bit generous on your neck line why do i say that is that people will tell you that you need to shave your neck line all the way up till here keep it till your adam's apple or the middle of your neck why i say that is because the beard in the neck region will give an illusion of you having a longer beard also since it's behind the frontal hairs it'll provide more density more mass to the beard and once you have a good growth over say maybe a month and a half or two months then you can start receding the line but i still recommend do not go a lot above the adam's apple that should be your point so that you get a good density in your beard also most of the people will tell you that you shouldn't trim and shave and clean the cheek and neck lines until 3 or 4 weeks but most of the people don't talk about the mustache now if your aim is to grow a big and full beard over the period of say many years that you want to keep your beard or many months that you want to keep your beard a very important point is not touching your mustache let your mustache grow out and grow on to the sides in length as well now that was one mistake that i made and i always kept trimming my mustache and that is the reason if you see my entire beard the mustache falls a bit short and it's not going with the entire length of the beard it's not as dense as thick and as long to complement the length of the beard Now tip number 2 is that you have to religiously clean and oil your beard. First thing in the morning, take a shower, wet your beard, thoroughly wash it with water, then dry it out, pat dry it, and then apply beard oil every single morning. About beard washes twice a week, maximum thrice a week, not more than that. Tip number 3 is that you have to ditch junk food and incorporate workouts. into your lifestyle now when i say that you have to start eating healthy what i am basically focusing on is increasing your protein intake and increasing your vitamin intake now if you're a non vegetarian it becomes pretty easy because you're allowed to have eggs so i would recommend you eating whole eggs minimum of 2 to 3 whole eggs per day also required are nuts fish etc And if you've noticed when I said nuts and fish both of these have a lot of omega fatty acids in them omega fatty acids be it omega 3 or omega 6 are really really great for your skin and for your hair now one thing that you have to keep in mind is that a big beard is a result of increased levels of DHT that is dihydrotestosterone in your body Now what happens is that when DHT levels increase your beard yes it will start growing out but if your genetics are molded in such a way increased levels of DHT can cause baldness on your head so what you need to do is you have to incorporate foods which will also lower or maintain the DHT levels to a healthy level so you need nuts you need green tea you need tomatoes carrots watermelon and seeds like 
pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds flax seeds etc also foods which increase blood circulation in your body such as ginger garlic onion they not only increase the blood circulation in your body but also increase your immunity and clean you from within now one more thing before i end this point is that you have to have to drastically reduce your intake of sugar and carbohydrates now in carbohydrates you can have complex carbohydrates but also in a very limited amount also cut down sugar completely if you can consumption of sugar and easily digestible and absorbable carbohydrates in the body are linked to hair loss now tip number 4 is that you have to train your beard to grow big and to grow downwards and once you've applied your beard oil i would recommend you go in with a white tooth or a medium tooth comb and go down and let the teeth of the comb touch your skin so that it pushes your beard downwards this will in the long run help your beard grow downwards also increase blood circulation and spread the nutritive oils that you've just applied to your beard all the way from the root till the tip of the hair also you need to massage once you've applied your beard oil massage your skin get deep inside and massage your skin so that you'll increase blood circulation and better absorption of all the oils that you've added on to your skin and to your beard this is the last tip but the most important tip is that you need to have patience everyone has a different rate of growth you be proud of your rate of growth and you try your best to provide the best nourishment to your beard so guys that was today's video and before i end again a disclaimer about the beard softener giveaway it's still going on i'm getting close to the 500 subscriber mark and i hope i reach there pretty soon with all your support so if you like today's video make sure you hit that like button down below also hit that subscribe button and also press that bell icon down below so that you get notified every time i post a new video Also if you think that I've missed out on some points or you still have some confusions you can always hit me up in the comment section below and I'll make sure that I help you out you can also hit me up on my Twitter my Facebook and my Snapchat all the links are down below in the description also follow me on Snapchat to know what I'm eating to know what I'm drinking to keep this beard really healthy and follow me on Twitter and Facebook to know which products I'm testing out and you'll be updated with everything that's going on for this channel So until we meet next time this is the bearded chokra i'm signing out bye bye